Hi there, how is going? Today I want to speak about how to validate your environment variable using Thought. To understand the benefit of uh, the creation of this, uh, this layer, I want to start with an example. So let's jump in it. I create a very simple example using uh, an X, uh, Vit, uh, and uh, Lit. The application permit to you to search for a user in, uh, on, Gita on GitHub and then uh, provide a search and return the list of the user that match with your search. Okay, now we can uh, move to the code. The code is very straightforward. There is an app element where you can find all the structure of the page and each time you type a character in your search input, the application try to fetch the, the, the user from GitHub. The search request is a, a simple search method that uh, accept a query and an abort controller that allow you to um, abort the previous request if you want. Another important stuff in this code is uh, the import meta env that uh, is the way to get uh, the environment, environment variable in your uh, vid application. In this uh, example, you can uh, notice that uh, the search user tried to get uh, the vit uh, github API URL and the vit uh, github per page uh, variable. These uh, are two uh, variables that uh, the application needs to provide the, the request uh, for you. Okay, now we have our variable and we can use them in our code base. But we have another problem. If I go back to my browser and uh, I try to type my name, for instance, nothing happened in, uh, in the network tab. But if, uh, if I switch to the console tab, we can see a five error. And the error uh, say failed to construct a URL, invalid URL. This happened because in our application nothing check if the variable exists. And uh, in this case the URL class is not able to create an instance because the GitHub URL is undefined. Double check if I go back to my editor and I print the, the env object, for instance, console.log.search and use import.meta.env and then I go back to my browser and type again my name. As you can see now, the, the env object contains five fields base URL, dev, mode, prod, and SSR. So now we have to understand how we can guarantee that our environment contains all the, the variable that we expected. Okay, how we can guarantee our variable when the application starts to run? To do that, we have to create a folder called environments and inside of this folder we can create an index.ts file and inside, inside of this, folder, in this file we can create our schema to guarantee our environments. In this case I import uh, Zod, I create the schema that uh, is an object with the two property byte uh, github api url that uh, is a new URL in this case, and invite GitHub per page, um, uh, per page variable that expected that the page is a string. It's important to understand that all the variable, uh, all environment variable are of type string. So we have to use the string, um, the string um, uh, type to get uh, this info. After that, 
we have to uh, we have to export the environments type and we can create an ensure environment that inside the call the pass method to uh, check if the import.meta.env contains the github api url and the github per page per page um, variable and then we can call it after that we have to import this file in our uh, upper in our root so we can import the environment uh, file and then we can check our uh, our application in the browser okay perfect now i open again my browser and as you can see the page uh, is blank if i open my dev tool and i go to the console tab we can see an error in this case the error is raised by the ensure environment function that say i expect that the, the environment contains with github api url and with github per page variable but uh, the object uh, doesn't contain uh, them. So, how we can do to fix uh, to fix this problem? I go back to my editor, and uh, now uh, inside of the app of the app folder, I can add a new file called .env.local, and uh, then inside of uh, this uh, file. Uh, I can uh, insert my variable, in this case with uh, github api url and with github per page uh, variable. So after that I have to restart my server and if I go back again to my, to my browser the, the page now contains the title and the search uh, input. Now I can type my name in the search and as you can notice the, the application try to fetch the request and return the result in uh, and print the result in the DOM. In this case you can see that each time um, I type a new character the application fetch a new request. Another important uh, thing uh, to, to see is uh, now the, the URL is uh, right and also the per page um, query params. But we have uh, another uh, little problem and now I, I want to go dive on it. Okay, now we have uh, a problem. The import meta env interface is equal to the envir environment uh, types. So we have to refactor our application to use only one of them. I prefer to use the, the types inside of my index.ts file. So we can export the result of the function ensure environment as default. So we can add export default and we can use this uh, the, this, this constant in our github user service so we can import and from environment and then inside of the search we can use const env and get the the two value and then remove the import meta env object now our application get uh, the environment from our uh, types and uh, use uh, an object that, uh, that is uh, guaranteed by our schema. Another important thing is to remove from, uh, from the end.d.ts uh, um, file our interface. It's important to uh, to keep the to, to take the reference to the pipe uh, client because if you remove this line of code 
you have a problem in your uh, ensure uh, function if you leave the reference to this type now uh, you can use the import automata.env inside of uh, your uh, environment uh, function so now if i go to my browser i refresh the page and i can type my my name for instance and as you can notice the application continue to continue to, to run without any problem but to use only um, an object that uh, guarantee the um, uh, the type and uh, the the value of our environment uh, variable now uh, we can see the last problem the per page variable now uh, it's uh, described like a string but uh, for instance we can type uh, whatever we want uh, in this uh, variable so in my case uh, i add the uh, dash dash uh, value and if i try to use now the, the api my request send the per page uh, dash, dash dash value so how can prevent uh, this kind of problem using Zod, we can create our custom validation in this case i want to create a validation called string to number the validation uses a string method exposed by Zod and uh, append to the string some uh, some rule for instance uh, the string must uh, uh, expect a regex that check if the string is a number otherwise uh, i also can uh, indicate the error message like uh, you can see uh, and then if the value expect the regex i can transform my value to a number then we can use uh, this validation in our object without any problem and as you can notice now our environment contains two property the first one uh, the api url is of type string and the second one the per page is of uh, of type number then if i go back to my browser and i use a strange variable uh, for the per page variable the application raises an error and uh, the error is um, the vit github per page must be a number uh, in in this case the, the, va the variable is uh, a dash dash variable if i go back to my dot env uh, local file and i use another value for instance two and then i restart my application now as you can notice uh, the application works again and i can type in the in my in my search box my my name for instance and as you can notice the application show only two uh, two, two element you can also check the the result in the network tab of your developer tool uh, panel where the API, uh, the request called the API with the per page value of two. Okay, I hope you understand the benefit of using this validation layer in your application when your application starts to run. So you are able to react to, to the problem quicker and you don't have to, to wait that a user have a bad experience with your application but you can react quicker and fix the missing problem the missing variable or the wrong variable as soon as possible and this it's important because it's a stupid run an application that doesn't have the the right configuration but it's for me it's better to uh, get a, a notification when uh, something is not okay and try to fix uh, the problem uh, as soon as possible probably okay that's all from this content i wanna uh, create other two uh, video 
about this topic and uh, I want to create uh, two examples how to integrate this solution in a in in React application and in an in Angular application. Okay, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this content and if you uh, liked uh, it, please hit the like button below. And if you want to stay updated with my content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye.